Today, we take a look at Texas Tech transfer Terrence Shannon Jr. This is the Wolverine of On 3 Sports, the best of college sports and recruiting. Coming out of high school, the 6'6", 215-pound left-handed guard out of Chicago was rated a four-star and a top 100 crew out of IMG Academy. At the time, he was a one-time DePaul commit, but decommitted. When it came time to choose, it was still between DePaul, but also Illinois, Texas Tech, Florida State, and Georgetown, and he ultimately chose the Red Raiders. In his sophomore season, he was third-team All-Big 12, and after a coaching change, he saw his production dip a little despite increasing his overall efficiency. In his three years for Texas Tech, he played in 83 games while starting in 54 of them and averaged 25 minutes per game. He's going to bring a lot of experience to whichever program he chooses to join. He's already being pursued by Michigan, Illinois, Kentucky, and Yukon. There's a connection there with Jawan in Chicago, a connection with former Illinois assistants at Kentucky, and there's a connection with current Illinois assistant Tim Anderson, who was on the DePaul staff before Shannon decommitted from there. He has the prototype of a big physical perimeter player, tough in the paint, athletic finisher who has a nice touch from outside. His player comparison today is going to be former Kansas and NBA player Brandon Rush. When they drive, they're physical and look for contact, yet still crafty around defenders. Rim punishers want to dunk on anyone who contests. Smooth looking jump shot from deep, at their best when going downhill using their physicality against defenders, then countering with their jump shot of given space. Elite athlete, can jump with anyone and can punish defenders on the way to the basket. He has the measurables to challenge any rim protector in the paint or at the rim. I put him at 6'6", but at the 2021 NBA Combine, he measured at 6'6 and a half, so he's really just shy of 6'7". He had a plus two on the index, which means that he had a 6'8 plus wingspan, which is gonna be used on both sides of the court, which could make him a premier defender with his ability to contest the basketball and force deflections. He could jump off of one foot or two feet, Either way, he's pretty impressive when he's exploding towards the basket. If he's able to run out and transition, Shannon is a threat to spot up for three or run all the way to the basket for a lob or a quick pass and finish. His shooting metrics have improved from year to year. He shot over three three-point attempts per game at a 38.4% clip, an increase of almost 13% from his freshman season, while taking two more three-point attempts per game. In spot-up situations, Shannon scored 1.3 points per possession, which is in the 97th percentile nationally, ranking 98th in the country of the roughly 5,000 players in Division I basketball. And he's top 20 among high major players. That is very impressive, especially from someone with his measurables and athletic ability. He has a good looking form and he's consistent. You see the flat humor is here. The angle isn't too narrow and the ball is up and out over his forehead to allow the vision window pretty textbook from a mechanic standpoint. This was probably a snapshot of his mid-range jumper. When he's shooting from three, his form does drop down a bit and it's a bit lower, but the mechanics are still consistent with the high up top finish. No matter where he chooses to go, he needs to attack more. Not necessarily in ISO situations, but he's at his best when he's quickly making the decision to just go. Just catch it, rip it, and go. He's one of the best players in the country when he's playing with tempo. Off the catch and rip, he scores 1.7 points per possession, which is ranked in the 100th percentile. That's good for sixth in the entire country. When he's out in transition, especially utilizing the right wing, he's very efficient with 1.5 points per possession where he ranks 102nd in the country. His athleticism and shooting prowess will allow him to be a multi-layer threat against the retreating defense. As of today, in my opinion, he's the top transfer currently in the portal. Wherever he chooses, he'll be able to play right away and make an immediate impact. He's coming from a winning program, which is a bonus. He understands what it takes to win at the highest level. 